Supersonic fighter jets have always held a special allure due to their incredible speed and raw power. These high-performance machines are a sight to behold in action, relying on their speed for survival in the ever-evolving world of military technology. After World War II, a fierce manufacturing race between the United States and Russia ensued to produce the world's best warplanes, with a particular focus on fighter jets. Since then, it has been suggested that Soviet aircraft designers excelled in high-speed performance while American manufacturers became pioneers in stealth technology. But is this claim accurate? The discovery of this supersonic fighter jet seems not to agree with the amusing claim. Join us as we reveal the shocking discovery. Here is the fastest fighter jet in the world, 2024. Implying Russia makes the highest speed performance aircraft may sound like a joke, especially with the release of this new supersonic aircraft. However, their effort needs to be recognized. The fastest Russian fighter jet is the Mikoyan MiG-31, a formidable supersonic interceptor designed for speed and precision. Known as the Foxhound in NATO documents, the MiG-31 is quite the speed demon. It boasts a top speed of 3,000 kilometers per hour, which translates to approximately 1,864 miles per hour. This astounding velocity allows the MiG-31 to patrol vast territory swiftly and intercept high-speed, high-altitude threats. The role of this fighter as a long-range interceptor is among what sets it apart. Its primary purpose is tracking, engaging, and neutralizing targets, especially enemy aircraft and missiles. With its top speed, it can rapidly close the distance between itself and incoming threats, making it a formidable defensive asset. MiG-31 is also equipped with powerful radar systems, which allow it to track multiple targets simultaneously and engage them effectively. Its ability to operate in the stratosphere is another distinctive trait, giving it an advantage in specific scenarios. But that's not what we are here to discuss. As much as MiG-31 has impressive speed, it still can't stand the American YF-12. This aircraft was an impressive creation by Lockheed. It was not just fast. It was an absolute speed demon. It was developed as an interceptor in the 1960s, designed to reach astounding velocities and intercept high-speed, high-altitude threats, particularly Soviet bombers. In terms of speed, the YF-12 broke the sound barrier with ease. It could reach speeds of up to Mach 3.35, which is roughly 2,275 miles per hour or 3,660 kilometers per hour. To put that into perspective, it could cover about one mile per second. Such speeds allowed it to chase down and confront incoming threats with extraordinary efficiency. The YF-12's remarkable speed wasn't its only impressive feature. It was equipped with cutting-edge radar and fire control systems, making it a formidable opponent in the skies. In fact, it served as a testbed for technologies that found their way into other legendary aircraft, like the SR-71 Blackbird. Speaking of the SR-71 Blackbird, this supersonic reconnaissance aircraft could cruise at speeds of Mach 3.2, just a tad slower than the YF-12. It set numerous speed records during its operational years, solidifying its reputation as one of the fastest aircraft ever built. However, today, we are talking about the fastest of all, and it's not the SR-71 Blackbird or YF-12. It's the mysterious and legendary SR-91 Aurora. The SR-91 Aurora, shrouded in mystery, has long captured the imagination of aviation enthusiasts and conspiracy theorists alike. Rumored to be the most advanced American aircraft, it has remained hidden from public view, with no official confirmation from manufacturers, the American government, or aviation observers. Yet the aura of the Aurora persists. The legend of the Aurora began in 1990 when Aviation Week and Space Technology magazine published that $455 million was allocated in the 1985 U.S. budget for a classified project known as Aurora. The purported funding for this black project supposedly soared to $2.3 billion by fiscal year 1987, creating a sense of intrigue and anticipation. The early 90s also brought a curious flurry of sightings and reports about an enigmatic, high-speed, triangle-shaped aircraft with a peculiar contrail. In 1989, 
An engineer working in the North Sea claimed to have witnessed a triangle-shaped aircraft refueling from a Boeing Stratotanker. This event sparked the interest of the British government, which promptly initiated an investigation. However, things took a mysterious turn when the U.S. government informed their British counterparts that no such aircraft existed. This denial only deepened the intrigue surrounding the unknown flying object. But this was just the tip of the iceberg. In 1991, Southern California experienced a series of sonic booms that were unlike any produced by known aircraft, including the famous SR-71 Blackbird. The booms puzzled researchers, who detected them using specialized earthquake sensors. These booms were linked to an aircraft flying at an altitude of 90,000 feet, at speeds ranging from Mach 4 to Mach 5, making it significantly faster than conventional planes. By 1992, vapor trails bearing the distinctive profile of a pulse wave detonation engine began appearing across the skies of America. These contrails were associated with strange pulsating roars, further fueling speculation. During one such event, radio transmissions were intercepted between an AWACS aircraft and two unknown aircraft identified as Dark Star November and Dark Star Mike. These communications alluded to an aircraft flying well above 67,000 feet at an unimaginable speed. Perhaps most intriguing of all, an Area 51 enthusiast named Chuck Clark claimed to possess video footage of the enigmatic aircraft, which he referred to as the Aurora. He described it as a 130-foot-long, sharply triangular aircraft, consistent with the descriptions from other witnesses. However, Clark kept the tape under wraps expressing his reluctance to reveal national defense secrets until the time was right. But as quickly as these reports and sightings appeared, they seemingly vanished by 1996. For years, no substantial evidence or credible reports of the Aurora surfaced, leaving the public and aviation enthusiasts uncertain. We must also not forget that the late 1980s marked a time when many aerospace industry observers believed that the U.S. had the technological prowess and the motivation to build a successor to the aging SR-71 Blackbird. And it turned out their hunch was correct. The U.S. Air Force, NASA, and Lockheed have since revealed the development of an SR-71 successor, a fact confirmed in a less secretive manner than the fabled Aurora. The SR-71 Blackbird is a true marvel of aviation history. It was the result of a classified black project that brought American dominance in aerospace through an unmatched combination of stealth and speed. This aircraft, constructed mainly of titanium, was powered by two Pratt and Whitney J-58 engines, each capable of producing a staggering 32,000 pounds of thrust. The power enabled the Blackbird to achieve the top speed of Mach 3.2 that was mentioned earlier and reach altitudes of up to 85,000 feet, nearly straddling the boundary of space. The pilots of the SR-71 had to don pressurized suits akin to those worn by astronauts due to the high altitudes they operated at. For 35 years, the SR-71 Blackbird reigned supreme as the ultimate reconnaissance aircraft for the U.S. Air Force and NASA. Its retirement in 1998 left a void that no other aircraft could fill. However, the need for an invincible hypersonic aircraft remained and the SR-91 Aurora emerged as the potential answer. The SR-91 was said to have a top speed exceeding Mach 6, doubling the swiftness of its predecessor, the SR-71. But is the SR-91 Aurora real? That remains a question without a definitive answer. These alleged sightings of the unusual aircraft and unexplained sonic booms have fueled speculation, but no concrete evidence links these occurrences to the SR-91. Additionally, Aviation Week, the source of the Aurora rumors revealed that Aurora referred to a group of exotic aircraft rather than one specific airframe. While the details of the project were deleted, the name Aurora endured, becoming synonymous with speculation about a new, classified spy plane. However, an ex-Lockheed employee shed light on this issue, confirming that the Aurora project was, in fact, the code name for the development of the B-2 stealth bomber program. In his 1994 book, Skunk Works, Ben Rich clarified that Aurora was the budgetary code name for the stealth bomber fly-off that ultimately led to the B-2 Spirit Bomber. 
Interestingly, it appears that the revered hypersonic SR-91 had no connection to hypersonic technology. But can we really be sure? Nonetheless, the U.S. is actively working on hypersonic aircraft, driven by the need to maintain its dominance in the face of formidable competition, particularly from China. Several U.S. programs, such as Project Mayhem from the Air Force Research Laboratory, aim to develop hypersonic aircraft. Project Mayhem focuses on creating a combined cycle turbofan scramjet propulsion system that can propel larger payloads for longer distances than existing systems. In the early stages of flight, Mayhem employs these turbofan engines to propel the aircraft to speeds surpassing Mach 2. Once it hits this velocity, it switches to scramjet engines designed to operate at hypersonic speeds. Scramjets thrive on supersonic airflow, making them ideal for the aircraft's transition beyond Mach 5, potentially reaching speeds exceeding Mach 10. It also aims to land conventionally, bridging the gap between traditional aircraft and hypersonic vehicles. The challenges in hypersonic propulsion are substantial. Scramjets, designed for supersonic airflow, struggle with ignition at lower speeds, requiring assistance from other propulsion systems. Despite these obstacles, ongoing research and testing indicate promising advancements in the quest for practical scramjet engines. However, a slightly different approach comes from Dark Horse, a hypersonic uncrewed remotely piloted aircraft developed by the Atlanta-based aviation firm Hermaeus. Dark Horse employs a ramjet engine called Chimera with an $18 million combined cycle. Unlike scramjets, ramjets slow down supersonic air before igniting it, reducing engineering complexities and costs. However, this approach has some speed limitations, as it is expected to reach hypersonic speeds below Mach 6. To better understand the technical aspect of this endeavor, Hermaeus employs a turbine-based combined cycle engine, or TBCC, which effectively merges the capabilities of a turbine engine with those of a ramjet. This hybrid engine can seamlessly transition between low-speed and high-speed operation, encompassing essential phases like takeoff, cruise, and landing. Hermes has selected the Pratt & Whitney F100 engine for the turbofan component of the Chimera engine. The Atlanta-based hypersonic firm recently made an exciting stride in aerospace technology by acquiring an F-100-229 engine from Pratt and AMP Whitney. This engine is renowned for its role in powering the USAF F-15 Eagles and F-16s. The F-100 engine will be the propulsive force behind Hermes's hypersonic dark horse aircraft, propelling it to incredible speeds of Mach 2.8 en route to a staggering Mach 5. This engine's transition from turbofan to ramjet power was successfully demonstrated in a wind tunnel in 2022, with plans to test it on the Dark Horse in 2025. This significant development was announced by Hermaeus earlier in June. According to the company's CEO, A.J. Piplica, the decision to upgrade to a more potent conventional power plant had been part of their strategic vision. This move aligns with Hermes's progression from their initial remotely piloted quarter-horse test aircraft to the more substantial and reusable hypersonic unmanned aerial system, or UAS, the Dark Horse. Looking further into the future, the company aspires to develop a 20-passenger hypersonic aircraft named Halcyon. To validate Chimera, the company is utilizing the Quarter Horse, a smaller testbed aircraft powered by the five 000-pound thrust General Electric J85 engine in conjunction with a ramjet. This combination is designed to achieve speeds exceeding Mach 4. On the other hand, Dark Horse is poised to be a versatile aircraft with dual roles. It will function as both a payload-carrying hypersonic testbed and an operational unmanned aircraft catering to defense and intelligence clients. Dark Horse will be equipped with a scaled-up Chimera 2 propulsion system, featuring Pratt and AMP, Whitney's F-100 engine with an impressive thrust of 29,160 pounds alongside an in-house developed ramjet, complete with an inlet, pre-cooler, ram burner, and bypass system. This advanced setup will enable Dark Horse to achieve hypersonic cruise speeds. Then there's the SR-72, a Lockheed Martin project that's generating significant buzz in the aviation world. Often referred to as the son of Blackbird, 
The SR-72 carries the legacy of the iconic SR-71 and aims to take things to the next level. Lockheed Martin, the world's largest defense contractor, envisions the SR-72 as a versatile aircraft with an arsenal that includes guns, missiles, and even laser-directed energy weapons. It's designed for reconnaissance, surveillance, and intelligence gathering, and is equipped with state-of-the-art sensors and cameras capable of capturing images spanning nearly 100 miles. As other nations were developing anti-satellite weapons, area denial technologies, and fast intercepting jets, the U.S. recognized the urgent need for a new spy plane. This new aircraft had to be exceptionally fast, enabling it to enter protected airspace, conduct observations, capture images, and even potentially strike a target long before adversaries could detect or intercept it. These capabilities were beyond the reach of fifth-generation fighter jets or any known space programs. The SR-72 solves this problem since it has a projected top speed of Mach 6, which is about double the SR-71's maximum speed. It can also reach this remarkable speed while flying at an altitude of 80,000 feet, equivalent to three times the height of Mount Everest. This implied that this aircraft could traverse the globe in just a single hour. The extraordinary velocity of the SR-72 is made possible by a combined cycle turbofan scramjet engine, a technology in which Lockheed Martin has accumulated three decades of experience. This top-secret project, shrouded in secrecy, has been in development since 2007. However, engineers at Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works had likely initiated research and development many years prior. Notably, NASA has invested a billion dollars in developing the SR-72, potentially contributing groundbreaking technologies that could further elevate its capabilities. As a result of these advancements, the SR-72 is expected to come with a price tag of around $1 billion. Nevertheless, flying at such staggering speeds comes with an array of challenges. The aircraft must withstand the intense aerodynamic heating, which causes a significant increase in surface temperature. These temperatures are high enough to melt conventional aircraft materials. Consequently, the SR-72 will need to be constructed from special alloys of metal and ceramic composites, similar to the materials used in space shuttles. What's truly remarkable is the application of 3D printing technology in constructing the aircraft. This advanced manufacturing technique allows for the creation of intricate components that were previously unachievable. For example, the cooling system will be 3D printed directly inside the engine. The application of 3D printing is set to revolutionize aerospace fabrication. While this might sound like science fiction, much of this research is grounded in the real-world experience of the hypersonic technology vehicle, 2 or HTV-2, developed in 2010 by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA. The HTV-2 reached an astonishing speed of Mach 20 for nine minutes, equivalent to approximately 13,000 miles per hour. However, the drone tragically lost control, and its autopilot initiated a self-destruct sequence, causing it to plunge into the Pacific Ocean. Nonetheless, DARPA believes that the knowledge gained from this project can be applied to the SR-72 program. As a testament to this, DARPA canceled a scheduled third test for a Mach 20 UAV. Looking to the future, this advanced version of the SR-72 may not solely serve intelligence gathering and reconnaissance purposes, but could potentially be equipped to deploy hypersonic missiles designed for precision strikes. The implications of this technology are nothing short of revolutionary, providing the United States with an unprecedented advantage in terms of reconnaissance and potential military capabilities. Hypersonic aircraft, when paired with hypersonic missiles, could potentially breach heavily defended airspace and target virtually any location across a continent in under an hour, as stated by Bradley L., Lockheed Martin's program manager. Speed represents the next frontier in aviation, vital for countering emerging threats over the coming decades. This technology, if realized, would indeed be a game-changer on the battlefield, much like the transformative role stealth technology plays today. However, as many astute readers have noted, such advanced weaponry does not exist as of today. Creating hypersonic missiles and aircraft presents formidable challenges. 
Not only must engineers design rockets that can endure the immense heat and air friction experienced at hypersonic speeds and tackle the problem of maneuverability. How can a missile alter its course during flight when its turning radius might span hundreds of miles and consume copious amounts of fuel in the process? These hurdles are substantial and would necessitate groundbreaking technologies. Yet the SR-72 project offers more than just pure speed. It aims to address some of the weaknesses inherent to its predecessor, the SR-71 Blackbird. Thanks to contemporary technology, engineers can re-evaluate the mission design of the Blackbird and rectify some of the flaws imposed by 1970s technology. These may include eliminating antiquated systems like the space shuttle-like countdown for launch, or the fact that the SR-71 had an extended turnaround time of over a week for a second flight. Moreover, the SR-72 has the versatility to be manned by pilots or operated remotely, making it incredibly agile and capable of withstanding greater acceleration and tighter turns with higher G-forces, eradicating some of the original aircraft's shortcomings. With this resolve to make the SR-72 the absolute best, for some people, there is no reason it's impossible for another supersonic like the Aurora to exist. Still, the U.S. government has consistently maintained that the evidence supporting the existence of the Aurora is, at best, circumstantial and speculative. They offer little reason to contradict this official stance. Yet some remain unconvinced. Experts like Bill Sweetman, a writer and Black Project's authority, believe that Aurora is more likely to be in active development than not. Recent technological advancements have made it possible for ambitions conceived a generation ago to be realized. Moreover, the mature state of hypersonic technology, as seen in the SR-72 program, indicates that it may have been used in other classified aircraft development projects. Intriguingly, a mysterious $9 billion budget black hole in 2006 has never been attributed to any existing Air Force program, including the B-2 bomber. Some speculate that this is where the enigmatic Aurora spy plane may be lurking, deep within the realm of classified, cutting-edge aviation technology. Thanks for watching. While you're still here, click on the link appearing on your screen to watch another of our interesting videos. See you there.